This video is brought to you by Android Authority's Tech Deals. If you're interested in AI or neural networks, stick around for more details. Saying that Android has a serious problem with phones receiving reliable Android platform upgrades is getting a little old. It's been brought up time and time again over the years by critics and users alike, and we know it's an issue. But Apple announcing iOS 14 and having it support the iPhone 6S kind of just sends that message home. Last week, Apple confirmed that its iOS 14 platform upgrade will land on every phone since and including the 6S. That's a phone that came out almost five years ago. Even with a phone that old, Apple is sending those updates to users with that phone and allowing them to hold onto it for at least another year before upgrading. And trust me, it's gonna be a heck of an upgrade going from a 6S to even any mid-range phone going into 2021. Meanwhile, the iPhone 6S's main Android competitor at the time was the Samsung Galaxy S6. And the latest version of Android that thing is on, it's Android Nougat, Android 7. The Android that came out almost four years ago. It came out in 2016, and even then, the S6 didn't even get it until 2017. Kind of laughable. Imagine if the Galaxy S6 did get Android 11. It's probably not easy for you to do that, because it's so far from the norm, and it's not something we're used to, but at least try and imagine. It's that level of software dedication that keeps Apple users coming back to Apple every time they need an upgrade. And it's not something that Android can just sweep under the rug. Before we talk about software comparisons, a quick message from today's sponsor. If you want to start learning Python or you want to upgrade your career with Python certification, the complete 2020 Python programming certification bundle is a great place to start. Get over $2,000 worth of learning for just $49.99 with tech deals. Click the link in the video description to lock in your 97% discount today. Of course, it's not apples to apples. There are a fair few things on the Android side that keep it from updating phones and keeping them relevant for five years plus. Like the insane multitude of different hardware combinations, different OEMs and different skin overlays, proprietary features, and so on. But that shouldn't take away from this brilliant level of support that Apple has offered. Granted, a lot of the upgrades coming to the 6S via iOS 14 are things that Android has had for a long time, like home screen widgets, picture-in-picture, auto-organized app folders, and the ability to change default apps. In fact, the S6 from back in the day had a lot of these features already. But iOS 14 will come with new privacy protections, advanced messaging features, new camera and video functionality, and more. The fact that this phone has them, whether they're late or not, is still a fantastic thing. Meanwhile, spending $1,000 on the latest Samsung phones will net you two, maybe three platform upgrades. And that's if you're lucky. However, the only thing stopping companies like Samsung, Xiaomi, LG, and even Google from offering software upgrades for as long as Apple does is the will to do so. Google, in particular, has no excuse for not continuing to update the original Pixel for at least another year. If Apple can give iOS 14 to the 6S, the Pixel can easily handle Android 11 or even Android 12 if we're making a direct comparison. Should be easy enough to do. There are only a handful of pixels like there are only a handful of iPhones. And Google both builds and distributes the apps and the software of Android that goes on the Pixel devices. But alas, the last official Android upgrade that thing will get is Android 10. It's a real shame that we don't get this kind of software support on Android across the board. And the bleak reality is that we'll likely continue to only receive two to three years of platform upgrades over a product's lifespan. That about wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do click like and let us know in the comments what you think about this scenario. Also, in the description, please do click the link to the original article. It's a fantastic read. Whilst you're there, click subscribe to never miss a video like this one. I've been Ryan Thomas with Android Authority, and I'll see you later.